Hi everybody, it's Wednesday the 27th of November 2018 in Prague over here and I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I've been working on to really give you an overview of what I'm trying to do with something that is if I'll move back, sorry I'm skipping around I won't show you my ugly face today but um, if I go to marginalia.eu which is kind of where I am hoping to build this uh, what you're about to see, I might go for marginal.ie uh, marginal if somebody doesn't kind of um, buy that before I get to them, um, but I need to register a business name or something else and all the administrative side of things really, there's just so much going on right now, but let's look at that. Uh, Marginalia is a forthcoming communitarian zine based on punk zines and Czechoslovakian samizdat of the Harabalian school. I'm going to look into this a lot um, somewhere else, but here you'll see that it actually forwards you to what is currently a prototype, a test site at morbidinterregnum.cz, which is a quote from Antonio Gramsci from his prison notebooks, which tells you a little bit about um, what it's all <laughs> based upon some of this stuff. But uh, if you look at the top, you literally ought to be asking yourself all the time, what is the most important thing in the world I could be working on right now? And if you're not working on that, why aren't you? By Aaron Schwartz, which tells you a little bit about where all of this comes from. Right at the moment, what this is, this is based upon... Um, it's based upon Python, which is a programming language, and Flask, which is a web framework for Python and I'm putting this together to be something which will be kind of, as I say, a communitarian zine. I'm kind of working on trying to have different, um, I guess different types of posts. I find with a lot of content on the internet, it's content. It's just generic content and I think that it helps to focus the mind a little bit when you're writing. I, my primary focus is writing, or, or it has been, it probably should be, but I, I'm working on this right now because I'm really finding it hard to, to, to find a way to um, support myself financially with the skills that I have. Uh, my mind works in a rather um, idiosyncratic way. Um, you could describe that I'm... I'm decreasingly inclined to do so as the fact that I have um, ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and Asperger's Syndrome. There is a certain descriptive kind of, if not elegance, then precision to that. Um, but I think it's helpful to think of it in other terms as well. If we look here, we've got a, a video uh, that's embedded in one um, one of the pages of Morbid Interregnum, which will in future be marginalia.eu. It's a video that I've recorded of my ugly self here um, talking, I guess, about this part of the project. You can find it by, well, you can go to Morbid Interregnum. You can go to, for example, uh, here on what is currently the front page, you can find various categories, for, for example, the videos. Um, here, if you scroll down, this is just the, the simple home page. So in future, this would be at marginalia.eu, and it might look different because I just I'm changing it all the time. Well, when I have time, in any case, this particular video then would be where morbid interregnum. Um, oh, I was looking for this a minute ago, actually. Funny enough. Um, so morbid interregnum by Crossrook. That's me. You can look at my home page, which is kind of currently pretty ugly. It's got a few things, for example, how you can give me money, though I haven't looked at it for a while, how you can give me money, though I haven't looked at it for a little while. All of this admin stuff, it should be higher up my priorities list, perhaps, than it is, but nevertheless, um, I've got to build something for anybody to be persuaded that they ought to try to give me money for it. Um, so then, what can we do this with this, and what can we show you? This particular screen here is built using um, something, if I get rid of the, all right, all right, <laughs> get back to that, clear some of the mess that's coming out from the screen recorder. This, as some of you might recognize, is kind of 
what's called HTML. HTML is what you find behind the pages that you see on the internet. Um, except it's a little bit different. It's got something else, which is the kind of Python or Flask. Um, it's actually not merely Flask. It's, it's a templating language called Jenga. Jenga 2 in this instance. And what it means is we can add, for example, we've got a variable there. And then what it's saying is if video uploader is creator, then do the following. Um, to do that, let's look down. I've got here, here this is the, the, the kind of the working end. Uh, this is the, um, the programming interface. I'm kind of using a Python shell here or a Flask shell, which is showing me that the, the database underneath this all. And it means that there's various things that I can interact with in what is called a class. So you've got so, certain kind of um, information stored within a class. In this instance, the class is a video class, so video. And what we saw up here is if video uploader is creator. Uploader is creator. So this means that on that video class, so for example, I've got mm -hmm, um, all of this, all of the information you see here on this page, including uh, why does it have this down here? This is the license and it's what you can do with the video. So it's Creative Commons, this first button here. It is Creative Commons Attribution. This second button is the attribution part. That means that if you use this video or use anything from it, you've got to say who it's from um, and who made it. You've got to attribute the, uh, the author. And this last part is the kind of um, the share alike, which means that when you reuse it, just use the same license. Um, B, let others do the same with it as you did yourself. Now, if I go down, um, all right. Video uploader is creator. What's the, what is that variable? True, aha, uh -huh. so what that means is if, if video uploader is creator, then do this next bit here, all right? And it means, a class Kohinoor, blah, 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 blah. This is what is called a link in HTML. Many of you will know this part, certainly. This next part is called video license short form. All right, so short, show the video.license short form. Let's look at that, video.license. Oh, can I do that? How is that, what's that? All right, so first video license, all right. The license is a Creative Commons attribution share alike for international license. Let's do that. And then we can do the same with with license. You get the license and then you get the, the dot short form um, attribute of that license and it says CC by SA. Go back here, we've got this here, which means that this first part where it says, if blah, 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 you know, if video uploader is, is, is creator, if this is true, so we see down here that it's true. Video uploader is creator. What's the, the, the value of that attribute is true. So what that means is we do this bit. We show that. So because it's true, we show these two parts here. And if I go to, for example, um, this is, no, what do, I, what do I want? I want source. So Brazit Zdrojevi Kod Stranki. Sorry, I've got it in check. I apologize for that. Um, what I want to show then here is that actually we are showing somewhere here. Aha, uh -huh. CC by SA. Okay, so this is what's gone on here. So video license short form. Because this is inside these brackets, what it does is it takes this variable and it makes it into HTML, which is what we saw here. Okay, so let's look at that variable again down here. Where were we? So video license short form CC by SA. And that's what we've got here. So what this first part does, the template is it takes various variables 
and it makes them into a web page that we can see when we go back here. Um, if we were to go down later on, then what would we find? Video description. So the video description again, video dot description. That's the video description. So here we have, having been working on the back end for Marginalia for some weeks with it apparently in an interminable state where the front end is out of connection, out of action. Um, so that's basically, I was working on the, the Marginalia um, static, the normal um, um, web page. That is, instead of writing this, which is kind of, in this instance, is kind of code. It's the, the, making it into a web application. I was simply writing like this looks, writing the HTML. Now this HTML is a little bit messy. That's because I'm not a very, you know, very good web designer right now. I'm learning as I go. But what happens then if we click that one? Because what we can see here is A. Well, A is a link. It's created a link. This class here, that just tells us what kind of link it's made. What will it look like? And what happens then if we go here? is you see the license for Morbid Interregnum by Christopher Rosrock. Morbid Interregnum by Christopher Rosrock is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike International License. So this gives us more of the details of the license. So if we look here, for example, um, it's, it's taken details from the database. So what can we do if we do, if I go duh, or it can show me, for example, um, what I can do with a particular variable. And often I forget, honestly. Um, so looking up here, it looks like permits redistribution. So here I can do that. Permits redistribution. Does our video license permit redistribution? Yes. What do we see? Permits redistribution a tick so the reason for for that is that kind of again similar to above you've got a different template so this is the template for video.html um and then you've got another one for a different style of page which is the license license for media and then after license for media you've got the video so video slug a slug is this part that you see on the I IRL, URL, beg your pardon, um, on the top of your um, browser. So it's what follows. So this is the kind of web page. Then you often get the slug afterwards. So that is created from various things. You can see here, morbid interregnum. That's the title. It's created from the title. It's created from the type. It's created from the license. It gives you the user if the user is creator, that is, and it gives you when it was made. Going back to the page, uh, and going back indeed up, what else do we want? So if video QR and video QR dot, we'll look into that in a bit, because then it kind of um, currently, it doesn't break, but it's just, it's just a bit of a pain to do that. Here we have if video dot archive slug. Now, that's not something that belongs, I think, on the actual... I think, instead, we have video dot archive URL. All right. Okay, so here, the video archive URL is what happens uh, or where you get, for example, let's... I can't copy that. All right, let's, let's just open that for a minute. Um, let's see if we can open it. So the video is currently being streamed from, ah, dear internet archive supporter, I am an internet archive supporter and I would like to pay these people. So um, when I'm earning a little bit of money, fortunately I'm not earning very much money at the minute. I've just donated a little while ago all of my last Bitcoin to Cubes OS, which I used to use. I'm currently using Debian. Um, but please, 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 if you start using things like this, please now and again, 
chip in towards uh, supporting them. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in a moment, really. It's the way to go. Um, and so here we have Morbid Interregnum. They have the details of the video, blah, blah, blah. All right. And you can play it here. Uh, but what we see then, actually, I don't have... Here, this is embedded from archive. Um, archive, what do you call it? So here we have if video .archive slug. Hold on, video .archive slug. Oh, video object has no attribute archive slug. Okay, okay. Oh, no worries. Well, how then? Because this is coming from if video .archive slug. Well. Normally we were seeing if true, then we go through here. But this actually, I think, is what we'll see. So iframe, uh, blah, 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 archive.org embed video archive select. All right, so let's look down here and go back to the source. And if I search for mm, archive, all right. So here we have iframe SRC, is that what we have? So iframe src equals blah, 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 archive embed. So archive embed, then plus video archive slug. Okay, so something's going on that's kind of funny here. For that, we'll need to look at another. Um, so the web application is made from several different um, components that all work together when it's working well. Here we have video query filter blah blah blah. Okay, this is the the video query filter by slug equals slug. Well, that if I go up, can I search backwards? So okay, here we have video equals video query filter by slug equals so. Here we're making a query on the database, and this is how I made my original. This is how video got its current. So video is one of the video class, and I made a query, uh, and the query was slug equals morbid interregnum video cc by sa crosrook blah 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 dot first, and what that meant is that we got video here is the result of this query hold on so i'll get rid of the video equals and just go that so video morbid interregnum all right that's what happens when you go video dot query dot filter by blah 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 so going back here all right this is our mm, this is our query and it means that when we go to a certain page so morbid interregnum plus video slug, all right, which is kind of what we've got down here. So video, and then the name of the video, the name of the video, the slug, is what we have as part of the URL. So this app root at the top, oops, I don't want that. This app root at the top sends us to this page and it creates the this variable slug as slug so then when we go video video query filter by slug equals slug then it's taking the the video slug from here and it's putting it into the database to get the results video that we saw below so it's kind of doing the same and then this is called the root which sends us onwards um and kind of calls the page and it, and it does everything in the background to make it all work. So back down here, uh, if video.archive.url, so hold on, video.archive URL. Oh, right, so video archive URL is there, but archive slug isn't. All right, so if video archive URL, try blah, blah, blah. All right. So it tries to manipulate that URL, okay, to create video.archive slug. All right, 
So try video.youtube slug. Aha, and then it gets rid of the YouTube slug. All oh, right, so it doesn't show a YouTube video instead. So that's got a kind of like temporary maneuver that I'm doing right now until I set up user configurations and stuff like that. But looking through this, so video.archive URL split details one. All right, let's go down. Um, video archive URL. All right, what do we have there? Video.archive URL dot split details. Let's see if I can do that. It was details were the backslash. So let's look at that. What you've got when you do this, let's let's make that into a variable. So um, what would you call splut? It's not a word. Splut. Um, splut creates then from the video archive. Uh, sorry. From the video archive, oh, I keep doing that. Sorry. Split gives us two parts. Let's let's put it that way. Split zero in Python we count from zero. Zero is the first item. HTTPS, HTML, HTTPS archive.org. We've got rid of that by doing number one. It means that we split from this details part of the URL. So a reminder of that. Dot. Um, archive URL we've basically in doing that we've got rid of this details part in the middle and we've left two parts the part before which is split zero and the part afterwards which is split one so it's after the split and what that then does is when you oops, the end of all this you render template video with this variable video I haven't looked at the template video yet but actually it's it's, it's only very short so um, because all it does is, is go on to the one that we were looking at earlier which is video all right so at first it just kind of creates the the extends base so all that does is base gives you all the stuff at the top so the header and all of this business if you know HTML it gives you that and then you continue on to the rest of it so we'll go back to where were we so this is just these are background tasks that are operating in the background and I'll go back to uh, this one templates video so look at seven all right um, so then, if video.archive slug, so actually if you have this, this is what we're doing, all right? You can do more because actually all the videos have, for example, a PeerTube URL. This one doesn't. Others have, for example, you'll certainly be familiar with YouTube, unfortunately. It's owned by Google and everybody knows what you're doing when you're there. But let's look at these nice people over here. So... Um, I have not only in this archive.org, I also have this video. I think it's the same one. Can we check? Uh, so let's go, let's go. What are we looking at? Morbid interregnum, marginalia.eu, blah, 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 October 2018. Um, 2018 even. We'll look at that in a moment, blah, 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 blah. This is called a peer tube um, instance. It's run by somebody called Micah Elizabeth Scott, who's creating videos and tools for art engineers. Now, she was kind enough, and unfortunately, on my um, instance of um, Mastodon at EU Public Social, Crossrock, uh, this is kind of like um, a, a version of Twitter currently for people who feel rather marginal or rather kind of like um, either they're ignored on Twitter or they're kind of um, perhaps have problems there and they get kind of um, get get abused or whatever else. Um, and so this is Micah. I, I, I apologize. I don't know actually how to, to pronounce her name. I, I do apologize for that. Um, but she's talking here on her Patreon page. So at 
Scanline. All right, look it up. And again, I'm not certain of the pronunciation, but um, you can look at that and you can become a patron. And uh, she's currently getting $1,721 per month. That doesn't sound bad, but I don't know how much that is in, in, in American terms. And I, I don't know, I guess, what else she's doing as well. Um, but there, I guess, she is. Um, this is this is even worse, but I, I believe she used the pronouns she. I'm very sorry if, if that's not the case, and I would then perhaps delete this video or delete this part of this video uh, if that were the case. Um, so, all right. Um, so there she is, and also here as well about. Uh, Micah spent her childhood, maybe I had come across kind of pronouns or whatever before, so Micah spent her childhood making the languages and the worlds of technology her own. In any case, what she's doing is running this uh, instance of um, Peertube, and Peertube is kind of an alternative to YouTube, and so here there was this Diode Zone videos watch, and what you have here then is a Peertube URL. So actually, I can add this to the video, Videos dot um, sorry equals, and there's that. Now, this is how we add something to the database, uh, and we'll go add video. All right. Now I don't know whether that I don't know whether we're still looking at kind of. Um, I'll probably have to restart the uh, the server and stuff to do that. Maybe it will then. I don't know. I haven't looked at the this um, how it works for it. So if video perch peer tube you embed URL and not video archive .slug. So I think if we have archive, then we just do archive and we don't go onto peer tube. So there you go. I haven't set up how to uh, how to do alternatives yet because this is the thing. What am I trying to do with this? Well. Um, I'll to, to, to show this, I guess, I'll show an example here, it's called My Really Edgy Zine. I was putting this together for students the other day, and therefore, unfortunately, I still do my planning for teaching on Google Docs, uh, because I use it on various computers, and then it's the easiest way to print stuff out, and, uh, well, this is where we all fall down, isn't it? It's kind of convenient. Um, here is supposedly a zine, and it's just a template of a zine, really. My Really Edgy Zine. All right, if I scroll down, uh, I'm showing how to put a shareable link to a Google document, though that's not how I want to do it, ultimately. Um, but at the bottom, you see something that looks like what we earlier had as the um, license page on media, on kind of posts and things like that. Because going back, I think this works on most things. If you go to random post. All right, Heart Attack and Vine and Other Stories, which is a review of um, uh, a music, it's a music review. Unfortunately, we can see here then the link, so the template is not quite so up to date. I can link to Crossrock myself and who did it, but I can't link to the license. So let's try a different random post. Um, so it appears that it doesn't work for, for example, um, for, um, for music reviews yet. I've got to change it. So you've got music reviews is one style of, so let's look at this, because I've got various hard coded, hard code, coded, apologize, classes. So how do these classes look in reality here? So uh, if I go to five, it's a horrible mess of a file. So media, okay, what have we got media? Media is kind of like a parent class because there's various classes underneath this, including video. So media, you've got title. So that means that with anything that, that is descended from media, so for example, video, title, easy, morbid interact. And that's, that's one of the things. And this is how you create your class, media. And then the database maps to this class, bang, 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 description. All right, so video dot description there we have it there again this comes from this media class again uh, timestamp so anything again descended from 
media. So time stamp. All right. That's what it looks like here, kind of in the database. And this is what it looks like when it's kind of passed by the, 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 the various code in the background. Okay. So you've got that. I can search for, I guess, video. And look in here, you've got media afterwards in brackets. And that means that video inherits from uh, media. And underneath, you've got YouTube URL, PeerTube URL, because actually the, the media class is the one that actually has um, the parent class. So video inherits everything that media has and adds a couple of its own. Bang, bang, there you go. Um, okay, so it reminds me of a Philip uh, Larkin poem, which I once did with my students. Um, so they give you all the faults they had and add a couple extra just for you, which is what we've got here. We've got a couple of extra um, attributes for media. And I don't know if this is a way, good way to do it, but this is what you can do in any case underneath... No, I don't have any kind of um, plus. I don't have any extra funky stuff going on with that. But all right, in any case, post does kind of the same. So you've got licenses, and it connects to the to the license class uh, because let's go licenses equal license dot query dot all, which means that we're going to get an example. Licenses will now become nice. The variable licenses is now all the types of license that we have. So uh, what we've got here is license is CC by NCND. So Creative Commons attribute non-commercial, uh, no derivatives. Now I hadn't written anything under this this style, and it certainly it's the the three, yeah, the the, the version three. So I hadn't written anything on this. So I just created one post. Oh, and there we see our first internal server error. It doesn't like that very much. All right, so post, evidently that doesn't work. From post, let's go somewhere else. Um, here we've got a link. Now, I don't know if I'm banned from putting up links, and if I am banned from putting up links, that's the stupidest thing the European Union has ever yet done, because links, if you link to something, so if I link to Journal of Democracy, they claim that I'm using the content and benefiting from the content from myself. I actually think that I'm passing on people to um, their site, and I'm getting out of all the, you know, essentially at the moment, Facebook, Twitter, control the conversation everywhere and control what you're seeing. And, I, and what I'm trying to do with this whole idea is to um, decentralize that a little bit so that everybody could, or lots of people could ho host their own kind of Creative Commons zine, which could then be printed and blah, blah, blah. Um, let's get onto that again via a different random post. All right. This one is public domain. Does this work? Yes, it does. All right, so License for the Liberty of Thought and Opinion, an extract from John Stuart Mill's On Liberty by Christopher Rosrock. Oh, dear. So at the, we can see our first major database fail. So here, this shouldn't say that this is by Christopher Rosrock because clearly it's by John Stuart Mill. But we don't currently have, and it says by John, John, Christopher Rosrock. So apologies to John Stuart Mill. Your daddy won't, it won't really hurt you very much. Identified by blah, blah, blah. Aha, uh -huh, so I've got an extra mess up there. It's free of known copyright restrictions. That is true, which is also true of this photograph, by the, this, this, this scan, by the way. It's a scan from a, a non uh, kind of copyright book source, which is very old. Requires attribution you don't need to attribute, which is good because we've done it badly, all right, above. Permits remixing, yes, you can, I think. Public domain, you can remix it? Well, I guess so. Um, in any case, so you have the liberty of thought and discussion. Oh, look at the top here. The time it is to be hoped is gone by when any defense would be necessary of the liberty of the press. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> the time is never gone by when any defense would be necessary of the liberty of the press. It's necessary all of the time. Uh, okay, but so there you have that also you've got a date which is kind of wrong you can see that there's a lot of fiddly work that needs to be done to get this kind of correct you can imagine going back to what we had in the roots yeah there's a lot of kind of logic going on in the background to make sure that kind of everything is correct and and i'm trying to do lots of things at once did i have somewhere else possibly oh okay um so, for example, I'm trying to also write some um, essays and things to go into this this kind of uh, zine, and I'm trying to do it all at once at the moment. And right now, I'm I'm not earning any money at all for um, 
for the work that I'm doing. I have my own Patreon. So, and... And I don't do a very good job of kind of advertising what I'm doing. It's what I'm trying to change here. Uh, yes, I'm older than 18. Unfortunately, I'm very old. I have one Patreon. I've got $11 a month. All right. Um, what I say I'm doing is writing a novel called Them Soldiers, set in a future England of contractual parliamentary monarchy and ubiquitous AI. Developing a sum is that to uh, Creative Commons zine called Marginalia, working title, but that's kind of what it is. I haven't looked at this for a long time. Um, delivering English language and tech educational solutions for children, kind of. All right, so I need to update that, but essentially kind of like I'm not really getting my profile out there at all. All right, so I'm going to try and do that. Right, slow it down. Uh, what am I doing? All right. So the last thing I guess we'll look at, if we go back to a random media, what then must we do? Mm, this is me having a moral and intellectual crisis. Uh, I do that a lot and working it out on a day where my mind is not working as it might. Okay. So this is another video. What I'm going to do now is kind of look at a button which kind of possibly works to some degree. If I go to printable off, let's see if we get an internal um, server error. We don't. Okay, this one works reasonably well right now. What that has done, I clicked something called printable and that led to... If I go back to... okay. Okay, and I want to go back to roots, and let's go to search. Oh, really? Mm. Toggle config. Aha. Okay, toggle config. So here you toggle something. And there's two things you can toggle. Is there? I can't even see it verbose. I'm only seeing verbose. Um, all right, there's something somewhere that does kind of like, um, all right. Oh, I know. I'm looking at a local version. And elsewhere I've changed it. In any case, it doesn't matter. Here, you, you go to a kind of a route that toggles whether it's printable or not. So a minute ago, we had this as a video. Now what we have is a scannable QR code. I guess if you're watching this online, then you can scan this and, and see. But I'm trying to work towards a point where you can print out any page, any arbitrary page, and you can kind of create a printable zine from that content and just leave it in a cafe, leave it around, make a kind of um, a, a zine of it. And then you can take content, which has, for example, a license for for this is that you can it's it's attribution share alike so you can kind of you can you can put it up together you can put it together in your own your own zine so you can collate a number of things as a curator and create a zine of creative commons content maybe of of, of, of things that you've changed you, you can change this a little bit so long as you attribute the creator um, and then you can print it out and people can look at it later on by scanning the uh, the, the the kind of code and sending all their details everywhere into the, into the cloud and to be, you know, uh, so everybody essentially would be listed for having looked at this, you know, for, for, for using that, unless you're very clever with, with how you use your devices. Um, it's going to go to Google, it's going to go to everywhere, all right? Nevertheless, you can then look at the video and um, and see what it is from perhaps a nice handmade zine that's been made in and left in a cafe. So this is what I, I, I showed to the kids and here what it is. So this is my really edgy brochure, which isn't because as we said at the beginning, uh, I'm so very edgy that I write my zine on Google Docs. All right. Um, but what that means, I, I've basically put a link to the Google Doc in here in the zine itself and then print it out. I've got a handful here. I didn't give it to my students at the end because they were being very moody and kind of didn't want to talk about anything. I've been told that they want to talk about kind of like um, different um, ways to publish on the internet. And in the end, they kind of said they didn't want to talk about it or they didn't want to talk about it very much. It was a Monday and they're 19, 20 years old or whatever else. Fair enough, but here we have it. Got a QR code and you can scan that QR code and then 
it takes you to this Google document and then perhaps you can print out your own version. So there's kind of instructions on this one. All there is is instructions inside. I might leave this around and anybody else can print it or whatever else, but it's how to do it. So you can change the content here. And so long as then you get the, um, the code to your own Google Doc, then you could put that up as a Google Doc and, 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 and share this around. Now, I, I wrote somewhere else a little while ago about how, you know, um, I'm sure I was kind of ranting on on here somewhere about kind of like people who try to organize protests and stuff by um, by sharing Google documents, but there you go, all right. Um, Charter, 20, Charter 77 had kind of um, some is that, and now people have Google documents to try and organize kind of petitions and things like that. But I guess, you know, to have it out in the open is, is fair enough, but I'm, I, I do question the logic of that. Okay then, so what I'm trying to do is work towards a point where you can have the um, Creative Commons zine online, and you can also help to others or, or, or create the logic, or I would like to create the logic behind this where then you can just on the fly create the QR code. This was created on the fly the first time I kind of linked to it. And then it just puts this up and at the moment you can't print this because it would be a mess. Um, but I'm hoping then to, to create some um, functionality where you can create a PDF from that. The PDF would be stored somewhere of, of zines that have been compiled in the past. And then you can kind of print them out. That's what I'm hoping to do. And I guess a lot of it is very quixotic and rather, I don't know, it's... it's um, I'm trying to do something which which relates to punk zines and try to really push things forward with with free content and um, and and ethical ethically shared content I guess is one thing uh, on the internet but I don't know that I'll ever earn money from it and uh, frankly I was writing a novel until the research from the novel really convinced me that things are at such a, a state right now that a handful of people reading a novel which is what it would be isn't going to do anything at all but Currently, I'm very marginal. I'm, I'm financially marginal and whatever else. So I guess I'm actually asking you to please uh, perhaps look at, um, is it here? Yes. Um, I need to change my Bitcoin thing here because I spent it all the other day and kind of um, changed a couple of things with it. But you can find me, I guess. Can you find me at LibraPay? Yes, you can find me there. Um, all right. And you can find me at Patreon, you can find me, I guess, at PayPal, all of these things, and you can give me money to say what you're doing. But really all I want at the moment is anybody at all to give any kind of feedback on what I've just done. If you've watched this video through to the end, if you've watched any of it, please just get in contact. Say whether either you think it's a bad idea, for, but try to be constructive, or you think it's a bad idea and it wouldn't really work, nobody's going to pay for it, nobody's going to fund it, whatever the hell. If you think that the um, the... Uh, any of the styling is terrible, whatever. I don't know, just get in contact and let me know. Because at the moment, I'm really, nobody's given me any feedback on it at all. My girlfriend doesn't understand it. And uh, I'm pretty marginal being autistic. I'm not very good with people, frankly. And I don't know many people who are interested in any of this kind of stuff or who understand it. So please get in touch. If you would be interested on in working with this, then please get in touch with me with your terms. Um, if you've got some background in Flask, I know precisely where I want to go with this and I can give you some feedback and, 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 and tell you where you could go with it. I've not worked in technology before, so really I've kind of, um, I've worked all of this out, what I've shown you with the dictionaries, with the um, databases and things like that myself. So I've, I've coded quite a lot. I can continue with it, but I'm not getting any funding right this for doing any of this right now. And um, I'm really struggling with the way the world is right at the minute. I really want to do something that actually contributes to a community that is positive and um, th that I consider to be ethical. And, and um, I see very few ways to do that right now. But please, please get in touch with me or if there's anything that you could do to add, to, to, to give me some content. Um, think content, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I give myself a picture of a dog just to keep me going because um, I say what I'm trying to do is uh, my, it's called a mot motivation. Yeah, my terrible pronunciation. This one's by motivation. It's, it's a dog to to keep me going to try and earn some money because actually I, if I think of what I want from the world, then, you know, I've, I need a computer to work, whatever else, but actually I would, I would prefer to be working on, on a typewriter, an old typewriter and... Um, 
and living in a hut somewhere. But really, if, if one thing kind of um, motivates me is the idea that I might um, one day have the lifestyle that I can and the money that I can have a dog. <laughs> and that kind of pushes me on. So occasionally I put this kind of motivation there to keep me working and keep me pushing on. It was my girlfriend's idea and occasionally she prints them out for me and, and puts them up. So here's my motivation. Uh, I will finish with that. He's going to help me uh, to to push on and do some work in something. If you would like to hear more about the novel that I've been working on before I put it up on the uh, on the zine, if you would like to know anything about it, then please let me know. Please, 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 any feedback at all, let me know what I ought to do. And if you can help out, again, as I say, give me your terms, let me know kind of um, what you would need to help me out with this. What I'd, I would ideally do in terms of contribution is to do a few videos of, of myself talking with somebody. They can tell me and give me feedback on my code or whatever. We can use Jitsi Meet or something like that to record a video and stream it um, that we could put up later on. And perhaps now and again, really I want to open it up to give people tips on how to work with this kind of code and, uh, and how to develop it. So I would like to work with somebody if possible uh, to put a series of these videos together where we can, we can throw ideas around and improve the code. I will learn as I'm going and um, somebody would maybe help me with it. And then we could really open up these technologies and show people how to do it. Um, but I've done enough, more than enough talking for now. I'm going to stop and um, if you've watched this far, thank you very much indeed and I'll catch up with you again at some time soon. Thank you.